determine the number of patches in a microstrip antenna array for a standard AO2.11N adapter. The use of microstrip antennas is widely applied in the current telecommunications market. The case of microstrip antennas for use in wireless local area networks with the AO2.11N standard is the most demanded. There is a need to design a microstrip antenna for a specific AO2.11 standard adapter with a base and documented evidence. The adapter is TLWN722N model of TP-Link branch. An adapter that is quite successful in the market. The performance of an antenna designed for a specific adapter is significant over the design of a generic antenna for many types of adapters. The patch antennas developed in this study are much cheaper and less heavy than the commercial ones. The full patch antenna needs alignment, it has good directivity, its input impedance is good, 104 ohms. With these parameters, you can reach the maximum distance of all tested antennas, 451 meters. The specific adapter is the model TP-Link TLWN722N, which complies with the AO2.11 standard with a frequency range of 2.4 GHz to 2.48 35 gigahertz with a maximum wireless transmission power of 20 dBm and is equal to 100 milliwatts of power. The factory default antenna is an omnidirectional antenna with 4 dBi antenna. In applications where size, weight, cost, performance, easy of installation and aerodynamic profile are limitations, low profile antennas may be required. Theoretical basis, the substrate. Many commercial substrates are available for use in microstrip design and manufacturing. This research uses FR4 substrate with a dielectric constant equal to 4.7. Okay. FR4 substrate is very popular, cheap and available in the vast majority of markets. In this image, W is width, L for length, H is the thickness of substrate and you can allow the width C is the speed of light FR is the frequency the frequency you can select a channel I selected channel 2.412 gigahertz and ER is the the electric constant. The electric constant is 4.7. So you can allow width. And width is 3.68 centimeters. Now you can allow the effective dielectric constant. And effective dielectric constant is based on the electric constant, height and width. Height is uh, the thickness, one millimeter. ER is 4.7 and width is uh, 3.68 centimeters. So effective, the electric constant is 4.46. And this figure, the dimensions of the patch along its length have been extended at each end by a distance, this distance L. 
okay uh, the length of the batch is extended so you can allow the effective length that uh, is based on height width and effective dielectric okay this uh, effective the electric constant for that 46 for that 46 height width so the value for effective length is 0 0.46 millimeters and also you can allow the length and length is based on the speed of light C F R the frequency and the effective length. So the length is two that eighty five centimeters. And then an expression for the input impedance R in for a resonant patch is the following R in input impedance is based on the electric constant length and width so the in input impedance is 416 that to ohms so for one patch the input impedance is 416 that to ohms for only one patch. Microstrip antennas are used not only as unique elements, but are very popular in arrays. They increase directivity and perform various other functions that would be difficult with any element. The elements can be powered by a single line, series power, or by multiple lines in a power network arrangement, the corporate power. The corporate power is used to provide two n power divisions: two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, etc. Corporate power matrices are general and versatile. The arrays are of interest because they make it possible for a given transmitter power to increase the received signal strength relative to a single radiant element. The circuit model for the microstrip patch antenna for a single patch show in the figure. This model can be useful for calculating the input impedance of multiple patches. Treatment of input impedance calculation of a corporate power matrix can be performed as parallel impedance, where the equivalent input impedance is Z equivalent. And you can use this formula. Okay, corporate power can be performed as parallel impedance. For a single patch, the input impedance is 416 and the directivity is very poor. Okay, one patch. Impedance 416 and very poor directivity. The power in the antenna is given by, and you can use this formula, P is the power, I is the current, intensity, and C is the equivalent impedance. Okay, this uh, equivalent impedance. C, the equivalent impedance, should be uh, small for better antenna current intensity and for better electromagnetic propagation.
tests were performed using TP-Link TLWR941 and the AO2.11 access point as a source located uh, 6.12 meters above the Earth's surface with uh, three antennas. Okay, the access point has three antennas of 2 dBi each and total maximum power of 20 dBm. 20 dBm of power that is equal to 100 milliwatts. And the destination the, is the AO2.11 adapter with a prototype antenna attached. For each test, uh, it is about 1.6 meters above the Earth's surface as a mobile client. This is the source and this is the destination, the access point and the client, the adapter. The environment is an urbanization with obstacles that would be found in any other urbanization. The maximum range achieved is 451 meters shown in figure. The yellow line is the maximum the ma maximum range, the maximum reach 451 meters. The connectivity tests were performed using the ping command, the ICMP protocol. Okay, and the ICMP protocol guarantees the connectivity of the network layer within the OSI reference model, which is also enough to guarantee connectivity in other higher layers, including the application layer. This table shows the number of patches, one, two, four, and eight, four antennas with different number of patches, one, two, four, and eight. One, two, four, and eight. The reach, the maximum, reach using four patches, 451 meters using four patches. The second maximum reach is 414 with eight patches. The input impedance, okay, and uh, eight patches, 52 is very good. A52 is very good input impedance. The alignment, four patches needs alignment. And directivity is good. Cost in all cases very low and weight in all cases very low. Comparison of commercial antennas. This, this is a table for commercial antennas, including the default factory antenna for the adapter. And all these antennas have uh, a cost of 17, 54, and 39 USD. The impedance is 50. 50 ohms. Okay, the cost is higher, the weight is higher. The patch antennas developed in this study are much cheaper and less heavy than the commercial ones. In terms of impedance, the 8 patch matrix can reach a very good impedance, 52. 
practically equal to commercial ones 50. Single patch antenna has a very low directivity but can go up 440 meters because it needs little alignment and the input impedance is 416 ohms. The two patch antenna has poor directivity. It needs alignment and its input impedance is poor. 208 ohms so it can reach the minimum distance of all antennas 270 meters and cannot exceed the factory default antenna range 344 meters the four patch antenna needs alignment it has good directivity its input impedance is very good 104 ohms for all the above good parameters, you can reach the maximum distance of all antennas 451 meters. Finally, the 8th patch antenna has very good directivity and has a very good input impedance, 52 ohms, but it needs a lot of alignment, so it can reach 414 meters. This antenna is also the second best with but it can be the best of all with better alignment on a fixed station client. Thank you very much.